Hi, friends. It's May. What? I know. We made it. I love it. I, I, I'm stoked. I'm stoked on it. Uh, how are we feeling? April? April April will be doing what April did, baby. It was, I mean, if you're an astro, if you're a little astro girly, you know that um, as far as the moon and the planets and where everything was, I mean, <laughs> astrologically, they were just trying to just kill us. It was so much. But there was also, you know, just... I'm sure even if you don't pay attention to astrology and things like that, if I were to sit down with you, there was a lot of constriction that happened in April in a lot of ways where it was like, are we going to make it? Are we going <sighs> to, right? It's like if you're trying to squeeze past something and you're, and everyone's like, suck it in, suck it in. And you got to like squeeze past to get to the other side. That was April. That was a physical representation of energetically how April felt. Uh, I'm obviously very partial to May. I just had my birthday. I know. Hold the applause. Thank you so much. Uh, my birthday is May 1st, and I turned 38. I know. She doesn't look a day over 38. Uh, pretty much right on time. And so May is always a really energetically a very strong and magical month for myself. I just shared this on socials, I don't know, last week or something. And I was talking about that where I'm like – I always have a lot of magic around my birthday, just a lot of natural attraction of pulling things in. And while I do think that that's obviously very specific to me for a myriad of reasons, not because like I'm special and you're not, but just like my birthday, my birth chart, different things like that, where I'm placing my awareness around my birthday. But I do think that May is a very magical and potent month in that way. Um, I actually think the two, and this is just my own energetic take. I feel like, um, the biggest months of reprieve are May and September. Um, and we'll focus on May obviously, cause it's the main newsletter, but, um, we're not quite to the halfway of the year, right? June is halfway, but so much happens in the top of the year, especially because it starts right where we're like, well, it's the top of the year. And, you know, uh, it's like we have all of these resolutions and everything we're going to do. And then that dies off. And then September is quick. And then March, we're all like, especially here in the States, like waiting for it to get nice again. And then it like there's just everything is compounded and grows and grows and grows. And so by the time we get to May, typically, especially for the, those of us on, you know, hashtag the journey, there is a lot that has crescendoed and dropped back. So by May, you have the building blocks of what you're really working with. So with what we started in January to where we are now, and this is also um, just um, the energy, I think, of like Taurus season in general. Obviously, towards the end of May, we go into Gemini. But um, this just energy of like taking stock of, okay, this was everything that we came through, like really using this month as this sort of respite and really feeling into a lot of this energy. So a lot of you may, uh, especially after coming out of April, you're like, okay, this is how I want to be doing things. This is the new me. There's probably a lot that you've come to the other side on, and there's probably a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy that's just circling around even in our collective. It's finally, uh, especially here in the States, it's starting to get nicer. The seasons are really starting to pivot. People are already planning their summers. And there's just a little bit of, as I feel it in my body, of like, okay, shoulders back. Like a lot of what we set out to do, we've gone through first quarter, we're almost done with second quarter. And so what I really want you to do this month is just like feel into that energy, like l allow May to be the feeling of like, a, you know, if you're like laying in a hammock, you know, for all your free time and just that soft sway. And so there's movement, right? But it's very soft. It's very gentle. And this feeling that you're being held. And so a lot of us, if 
where you are right now and you've been moving towards doing new things and stepping out and being seen and whatever that means to you, starting that business, leveling up, sending out more newsletters, going on more dates, uh, creating more separation between you and the person you're co-parenting with, uh, setting more boundaries with your teenager or, you know, like whatever the things are that you're doing. When I talk about being seen or stepping out, creating more space for yourself, asking to be seen in that way, um, you're probably doing a lot of things that you know you're prepared to do, but there's probably still a level of resistance, trepidation, ick, uh, oh, how dare I? Um, but you're during May in that swing, in that sway, it's going to go from, in the same way I just imagined, like, remember those old... Um, like an amusement parks and it's the pirate ship and it just swings up really high and then swings back the other way. That is energetically a lot of what's going to be happening is we're going to kind of like swing out. Oh my gosh, no, I can't. And then you're going to come back and be like, Oh my God, this feels amazing. And so what we're wanting to do again in that subtle sway, like in a hammock is we want you to get comfortable in commanding, processing. I don't want to use the word controlling, but I can't. Harnessing. Harnessing the energy of those highs and lows because that is going to continue for the rest of the year. We have been working the whole first part of the year of discovering, uncovering, and becoming this new version of ourselves that is really taking us to a much farther destination than we even can see now by December. And we are going to get there by experiencing that pirate ship of those really high highs. Okay. And where you're going to burn out is sitting too long on one side or the other. That integration of feeling those high energy frequencies, whether that there's a very high energy frequency to ick, to embarrassment, to, oh, they're going to see me, right? Or like, you know, hey, I sent the email that like, yeah, I will be on vacation from this day to this day. And like, I'm not sending emails like, or, you know, responding to emails when you send that out to your team or whatever, like there's going to be that, oh my God, somebody's going to say something. And we need to get comfortable in feeling that feeling. Cause I personally, I don't know if those feelings ever go away. We're just experiencing them in higher and higher stakes, new and new and new and different environments. So we want to allow our nervous system to get so comfortable with hitting those, those feelings that feel uncomfortable, foreign, um, or very big, right? Like I said, my birthday was May 1st. I dropped my new comedy special. Uh-oh, shameless plug. Uh, Tired Mom on my birthday, which I loved. I was like, oh, that'll be so fun. We'll drop it on my birthday. Friends, holding the energy frequency on your birthday of so many people in your life sending you beautiful messages of appreciation and really seeing you. For me, as somebody who really wants to connect with each person who took the time to send a message, a DM, whatever... That's so much energy for me to hold, plus just really stepping into this new year, the amount of reflection, plus now this year I have, you know, like two young boys and a husband and like really feeling into all that energy of like, boom, here is where you are now, anchor in, this is your life. It's a lot of energy for me to hold on top of <laughs> pushing out this major you know, baby that I had been working on and pushing that out into the world, that was a lot to take in at once, right? So I also have been experiencing this and learning, like, how long does it take me to process those bigger, bigger emotions? How much space do I need? How do I need to sleep differently? How does my body show up differently? Because where you and I are going individually in our journeys we are going to continue to have that sense of expansion and our nervous system needs to know that we are safe. I talked a lot about safety in a recent episode on the Rachel LaForce show. Um, so if you don't listen to the podcast, oh, come on, give her a listen. And I talked all about that of like really getting comfortable and knowing that we are safe, that no matter what happens, like we in our body, we are safe. And so that's really what May is offering us is this respite to expand and then come back. So there's not a ton of big quote unquote moves that you need to make this month. Like let's allow, and if you are, that's okay. 
but let's allow this month to be the true bridge of harnessing this new self, this new way of moving, these new energies that we're bringing in so that this new, you know, clean slate, this tabula rasa that it's like we are starting you know, anew with all of our experience and life experience behind us. So there's, that's major. That is a major move, right? So we don't need to pile a bunch on top of that. And using this month to just swing back and forth and get comfortable in knowing that there's always time to process it. There's always time and it's safe to process those big emotions, especially the ones that we interpret as being quote unquote bad or embarrassing or ick. Um, because that's just truly, you know, that you're doing the work and stepping out. And so we want to get really comfortable with putting ourselves, you know, in the arena, so to speak, and whatever that means for you. And this is a really beautiful month to do that because going into June, things are just like, whoop, 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 whoop. And I feel like the summer is just going to fly and then things will slow down again, coming into fall but the summer is really going to go by fast. And if you are not anchored in and aware of how do you want it to go? How do you want it to feel? How do you want to process and move through it? I think that the summer is going to be really beautiful and really bountiful for a lot of us. Um, But we want to make sure that we're getting the most of that bounty and really being present and grounded and aware for it. And if we don't slow down this month, it's all going to get away from us. And I don't want you guys, myself included, to wake up in September being like, oh my holy shit, what just happened, right? Because it's going to go fast anyway. And we're already going to be processing all of those feelings of all of the new things and influx and everything that comes in during the next three to four months. So that is just um, what I want to offer you of just really getting grounded in your body and getting aware of kind of what is next for you. I, you know, and I was just thinking I was maybe going to pull a card for us, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's needed. I really, if I was to offer you an Oracle, it really would be that, you know, just that pirate ship back and forth, thinking of that hammock back and forth. And so it's really about finding your equilibrium. How can we get to a place where we can feel those high highs and low lows? And how can we a literally train and reteach our brain, our nervous system, our spirit to get back to that equilibrium faster and faster and faster. So it doesn't mean ignoring your feelings, not feeling them, but how can we go in, feel them fully, learn what we need to, and then boom, lock back into that safety, into that that equilibrium. Um, That is going to be such a skill and tool that is going to take us so far, especially over the next, I mean, forever, but I think energetically the next 18 months, that is going to be almost your number one, hold on, Yeah, one of like the number one skills that is going to differentiate you going on this next journey and everything that's coming in, your ability to command what's happening around you, to harness it, to move with it rather than it all getting away from you. It like I want you to imagine, you know, in like I, I don't know, like a Wall Street movie or something like that. And there's always the CEO is like walking through the hallway or something and everybody else is around them being and And the CEO is being like, okay, yeah, do this or write this thing. And everybody's kind of crowded around them walking. That's what we want. We want you to have that commanding energy that even though there's all this hubbub and everything that's going around you, that you can keep walking and it will walk with you. So you don't need to run ahead of it. You don't feel feel like you need to get behind that. Like you can hold pace and be right there with it. Cool. All right. You guys check the rest of the newsletter. If you found this, that that this is really speaking to you and right where you are, uh, for the month of May, all May long, we are doing harnessing the new you. Uh, We're breaking that down. I think it's four weeks in May for the Misfit Light. So each week we're focusing on a different aspect of really harnessing and rooting in this energy. So it's really, really going to be beneficial. Also, the workbooks are always free. So you can go uh, to my link tree, you go to rachelforce.com, all these places, and you can find the free workbook that is available to you. It's also right here in this newsletter. So go and check that out. My books are still open. Uh, So if you want to do a Misfit Path reading with me, if you're really feeling called, I would be honored and so excited to work with you. So that's really a spiritual reading all about you. 
right? So when people say, oh, what can I expect? I always tell people this is bespoke spiritual um, reading, right? It's couture, meaning each person that comes to me, they have their own misfit journey. You have your own journey. So really figuring out what can we do to support you? So maybe you know where you want to go. You've got a couple hurdles in front of you. You've just come to the other side of something. We're going to use all of the tools but finding which ones do you need? Maybe you do need chakra work. Maybe you just need brass tacks. Like, okay, here are all the tasks. How are we going to, you know, uh, like create an action plan for you? Maybe you do want to connect with your guides. Maybe there's all sorts of different things. And so the reading is really curtailed to you and what you need, right? So I would love to be able to provide that purpose, that clarity, and really just like amp you up. That's what it's all about. So I have availability for that. You can go to rachelforce.com. Also my creative consults. Uh, if you want to get my creative eye on something, uh, I won't hit you with all of my credits, but trust me, I've been doing this a long time. I'm very good at it. And I would love to be able to help you bring all of your ideas into the world. So all of that you can book at rachelforce.com. And lastly, if you're still listening and watching, first of all, God bless you. Will you go and watch Tired Mom? This is my new half hour comedy special that I just put out on YouTube. I'm so excited. Like I said, it dropped on my birthday. I would be so honored if you would spend 30 minutes indulging in the way that I see the world. I would be so happy. Please go and like and subscribe on YouTube. Even if you typically don't use that platform, it takes you two seconds and you have no idea. It's the best, like, just honestly gift that you could give me. I try to make sure that all of this is free and accessible for everybody. So if you would love to repay the favor, that's it honestly would mean the world to me. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you in advance for watching it, giving it a like, giving it a comment, subscribing. Uh, and all the links for that are right here. If you find you like it, will you share it on social media? You have no idea. This is not a one-man band, okay? I, this is all of us, all right? This is like, remember the Titans right now. I'm like, I need us. We got to get out there. So please uh, go and share that with somebody, your friend, your dental hygienist, your ex. It doesn't matter to me. I'll take their watch too, okay? Uh, have a beautiful, wonderful month. I really think that this is going to be a really beautiful and bountiful month uh, for each of us. So I'm really excited to see what uh, what transpires. Have a beautiful month. Love you, mean it.